Right now, though, let's talk about dozens of calls pouring into the 7 Action Newsroom about strange lights in the night sky, one brighter and bigger than the other. 7 First Alert Chief Meteorologist Dave Rexroth with the science behind the sightings. The Twilight Zone, Carolyn. It was really pretty cool, and I've been getting calls for the last couple of weeks here, but they've gotten closer together, so it's a little bit more intense to look at. It's Jupiter and Venus appearing as almost if they're going to kiss here. They're passing one another. Uh, the Venus is always really, really bright, and Jupiter now are kind of traveling in the same planes. So as they pass by each other, they get closer and closer together. That's been happening through February, now March. It's called a conjunction when they seem to cross paths there. Uh, Jupiter will keep going to the west. Venus keeps going to the east, and they'll start to spread apart again. So tonight and then tomorrow night is the best view, and unfortunately, uh, tomorrow night it'll be tough because we'll have all the clouds back around her, but I hope you got to see it and if not, you can see it on the pictures here and some really great stuff. Uh, it will be a while before we can see this again here, so uh, hopefully you did get a chance. If not, we could bring that to you a little bit there. So passing by one another and then on the way to separate just two ships that pass in the night, I guess. NASA says it'll be visible again again tomorrow evening and then you'll have to wait another while before you can see it there.